Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I am Yosh and today I will show you how to edit table view cell. I am going to do both rearrange and delete cell so let's get started. This is my test project which I already created. So if we press edit we can rearrange the cell and press done and we can delete with a swipe. We can also do edit and delete. So let's get started. I have already created a new project uh, which says edit table view cell. Uh, you will get this project on my website. So first let's hop over to main.storyboard and I will change it to iPhone X. And okay, it's taking time. Okay, we are here. Uh, first I will drag and drop a button, a simple button, and place it here. And give it constraints. This will be horizontally in container. And from top, let's say 10, from left 50, right 50, and height of 40. And hit enter. So it's good. Change the label to say edit. And we will say, so first of all, uh, text color will be white. And background color will be, actually background color will be white and text color will be black. And here we go and we'll change the background color of the screen to light gray so that we can see stuff and it's here now we'll drag and drop a table view and I'll just place it here it doesn't matter place wherever you like so click on table view press ctrl and drag on to edit and press shift and start selecting what I select so this will be so we need vertical we need vertical spacing we need center horizontally equal width equal height add constraints and this will show you this so press command option and equal to so it will rearrange itself but now you can see that our table view is quite small so click on this equal button and here say multiplier will be phi and hit enter so it increases cool right so let's connect both of our button and table view to our view controller file so this will drag and drop here this will be table view drag and drop this one as well we need outlet as well so this will be edit btn and okay this is because let's do it below this and now it works and now we need action for button as well so this will say edit rest and change it to action and type will be UI button and hit connect. So we are done with the main.storyboard part. Let's hop over to view controller and start coding. Okay, yeah, standard standard editor mode. Yup, standard editor mode and get rid of this. So first uh, we will do a couple of uh, basic UI stuff. So first I will say edit button dot layer dot corner radius is equal to edit button dot layer uh, dot frame dot height by 2.0 so what basically this will do is this will give you a fine round corners uh, yeah that's the logic and same thing for table view table view dot layer dot corner radius but this will say 25 uh, because it's not a square right and now we need now you can say table view dot delegate delegate is equal to self and table view dot data source is equal to self you might get error so you will get error and now we will create an extension right below our class so that uh, we have like all table view stuff separate so I will say extension and this will extend our view controller so basically this thing and here I will say view controller and this will confirm to protocol table view data source and table view delegate and here we need basically two methods so first is number of sections and this will be return one and now I just remember uh, that we need a data model so and it should be a variable so make sure it's a variable data model is equal to let's have a bunch of fruits here apple 
pineapple um, I don't know some berry mm, let's have a dog doesn't matter and uh, we can have orange uh, what else custard apple cool so for uh, another method we require is number of rows in section and this will be returning count of our data model so data model dot count and now we need a cell for row uh, so that we can create cell so cell for row at index path here we will say let cell equal to ui table view cell open brackets and style will be default uh, it's an enum so just hit dot you will get options and reuse identifier will be nil now we just need to set our text label dot text equal to data model open brackets here index path dot row and we'll just return this cell so this is basic boilerplate code for table view so let's return cell and run this application and this error is because of some ui stuff uh, doesn't matter let it be so here we get the basic stuff but nothing happens if we press edit so anyways and we need to get rid of this scroll indicator i don't like them so here i will say table view dot show vertical scroll indicator is equal to false because i don't like it and now let's work on edit button first so we will first we will say table view dot is editing is equal to not table view is editing so if it's false it will turn it to true and if it's true it will turn it to false now we need let title so we need to change the title so if we are editing it should uh, say done and if uh, and if you are not editing it should say edit right so basically we will do the same thing so table view dot is editing so if it's true so if we are editing it should sh show done or else it should show edit and we need a question mark here so this is basically a ternary operator uh, we are asking a question here uh, if the question is true if the answer to question is yes this is placed and if it's false edit is chosen so yeah that's simple and now we'll say edit button dot set title and here we'll just add title and for control state will be normal so uh, we are good right now we can test it so let's hit play and see what happens and here we have it but you don't get the uh, the thing which you use to move the row like the three lines so let's work on that for that we need one more method for table view which is move move and this will say move row at okay and here we will say let First, we need to uh, store our source index path data in a temp variable. So it will be data model. And here we will say source index path dot row. And both source index path and destination index path are, uh, we get it from this function. So this are basically delegate methods. And now we will say data model dot remove. So we will remove from source. So source index path dot row. And we'll insert into destination index path so insert and this is the string so we'll just say temp and at will be destination index path dot row and this should work fine so let's run the application and see how editing works so if you press edit you get this option you can click it and rearrange so the main the main question is that does it change in our data model so let's just print our data model every time we are rearranging it so hit run and i will just minimize it so that we can see like along with that and here when i press edit and i rearrange so uh, this is the initial state and now if i press done okay yeah so that's what happened uh, so if i press edit again and if I rearrange it and you get Barry upstairs now let's put dog on top and you can just scroll dog and you will get dog here so basically it is also reflecting in our data model and which is great so stop the application maximize it and now we need to work on delete so for delete we need one more method 
which is commit editing style so this just start typing commit and you will get this function here we say if editing style is equal equal to dot delete so this is basically an enum and open brackets so we will remove it from our data model so we will say data model dot remove at and this will be index path and we will say table view dot delete rows and here we will pass an index path as well and with animation I like lift so let's run okay index path cannot convert value of type index path to argument required type int okay this will be row index path dot row and just run for one last time and see how it works so here is our application if uh, I can simply edit it like this way as well so apple is gone you can see okay so you can see it here uh, once I press edit so edit and I'll just rearrange something so berry is on top and we don't have apple so let's delete dog and we can delete it this way as well and let's rearrange this so we have berry orange pineapple custard apple and dog is out so uh, it is not printing after we are deleting because uh, we don't have print under delete we have print under move uh, move row at so that's that's the thing so I'll just comment this out and once again this project will be available for you to download from my website and if you like my video thumbs up if you have any questions post them in comments and don't forget to subscribe for future videos until next time